All right, Chairman, Mike Johnson served on your committee. Uh, he is known, or at least when I was there, known to be a very quiet, hardworking, humble member. I want you to listen to what Jen Psaki had to say, and then I'm going to ask you a question on the other side of that. Sir. The Bible doesn't just inform his worldview. It is his worldview. In fact, during his first speech in his new job, Johnson suggested that his election as speaker was an act of God. Talk about a bit of a humble brag there. His views on policy are essentially what you'd expect from a religious fundamentalist. They're more divisive than they are divine. You, you know, Chairman, I, I, when I heard that, I, I didn't necessarily just think about Mike Johnson. I thought about my wife and your wife, Polly, people who, yeah. who live yeah. their lives according to the Bible. And there she is belittling those people. So it's not just Mike Johnson. It's anyone who thinks the Bible is the roadmap well for their life. Yeah. Yeah. And Mike Johnson, as you know, Trey, is a good man. He is a solid man. He is a Christian man. He's a constitutional scholar. He's argued cases in front of the Supreme Court member of the Judiciary Committee, member of the, uh, the Select Committee on the Weaponization of Government. Mike is a hardworking member of Congress, and I think he's off to a great start as Speaker of the House and going to do a great job, not just for the Republican conference, but more importantly, for the American people. And since when is it a, a, a problem to have Christian beliefs and believe in Judeo-Christian values? After all, the document that launched this experiment in liberty we call America, the Declaration of Independence, starts off talking about the creator for goodness sake. So I, I get a little ticked off when you hear people from the left criticize good people like your wife, like my wife, and like Speaker Johnson. Yeah, and I tell you what else ticks me off, Mr. Chairman, is, is, is Joe Biden and Nancy Pelosi, they consider to be devout. That's what Politico and the Washington Post yeah. and the New York Times, they always <laughs> tell us they're devout. But yeah. Amy Coney Barrett and Mike yeah. Johnson, they're nut jobs. And I just, yeah. look, I get mad yeah. about it too. Not for me, but, but for Polly Jordan Justice, and Terry Justice Gowdy. Alito, Justice Tom, yeah. Yeah, Justice Alito, Justice Thomas, Justice Kavanaugh, people who are strong in their faith as well, for goodness sake. No, it's only if you're left wing that you're devout and, and, and quote, you know, doing things the, the, the right way. And by the way, Jen Psaki is also the same person when she was press secretary, stood in the White House press briefing room and said this sentence. She said, most Americans, these two sentences, most Americans get their news from social media platforms. We are working with those platforms to limit what Americans can see. And I'm like, Holy cow, the press person is talking about limiting the press, the free press, the First Amendment, right from the White House press room. That, that, that's Jen Psaki, so I don't put a whole lot of weight in what she has to say. Chairman Jim Jordan, at 